Last week on The Walking Dead. I knew they were gonna Yeah. Is so he gonna get someone else? What the fuck was that? Hi, YouTube. I'm Negan. What's up, everybody? Red Dreaded Entertainment, and now we are here with the latest episode of The Walking Dead. If I look a little strange, uh, yeah, I definitely look a little strange. It's a uh, clown clown makeup it's halloween today officially here in japan we've been partying all weekend i'm sure the same for you but of course no matter how busy we are no matter how busy we are we've got to watch the uh walking dead for sure to keep up with these content reactions on top of that you'd be very surprised i was actually i was uh, the joker for uh the halloween and then on top of that um on uh, one of the other days, I dressed up as Negan because I just need to do something really simple. And where the hell is Lucille? It's not around right now. I'll find it later. So come to find out, I didn't know how many people were actually going to be really into ne or even get Negan here in Japan. But you'd be very surprised how many people like came up to me and they're like, <laughs> at first my girl, they were like, they were like, Negan! 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 And uh, my girl, she thought they were calling me nigga. Like that, they're like, are they, like what the fuck? Are they calling me nigga? Like that, no, no, Negan, Negan. It's a character, Walking Dead, like that. I was very surprised. There was one, actually one click kid, you know, because it's all Asians out here. He was like, Negan, I, I am Glenn. He's like, I, I, I found Maggie. I found Maggie, and I was like, oh shit, that was pretty dope, and then I took a photo cracking his head open. Anyways, let's get on with the latest episode. Your reaction to The Walking Dead starts now. Also, fair warning, it's, I'm really pushing it for work actually today, so I might have to watch only half the episode now in the afternoon, and then the last part of the episode uh, tonight, so if the whole room changes or something, I'll let you know. We need a little bit of a chill episode at this point. Oh shit, the kingdom! Ezekiel! My brother. That shit looks scary even without the makeup. You ever seen Shutter Island? Oh my god. I feel like I've seen that particular- oh! They are going all out for a Halloween edition. Damn! Oh shit, it's in the city? We got split up, you found trouble, I found you. That is all he knows. Oh, who knows? Man, I'm taking you to see. Person who's in charge of this place. Does this person have a name? I am Ezekiel. Morgan? Yeah. He, um, he's called King Ezekiel. <laughs> well, here we are. Yeah, I, uh, I forgot to say that Ezekiel has a tiger. Yeah, boy! <laughs> I have to say, if you're not familiar with the comic, that probably was a pretty dope-ass scene to see, even more than if you're familiar. Like, you're like, what the fuck? A tiger? 
What did Tiger do in the market there? Chill up, guys. Chill it up. Jerry, you are a faithful steward, but your words leave me pitch kettled. I understand your concern, Shiva. You haven't met Carol, nor have I. We shall consider her a friend of the realm until proven otherwise. <laughs> like what? The fuck? She's doing better. <laughs> I am King Ezekiel. Welcome to the kingdom. <laughs> Carol's like, okay. If it wasn't for that tiger, I'd be like, <laughs> wow. Wow. You have been addressed by the king. What do you think of the kingdom, Carol? What do you think of the king? <laughs> I think you're amazing. Ah. Uh, it's amazing. And you're Shiva? It's, it's Shiva. Shiva. Amazing. Yeah, I would be speechless if I wasn't already speaking. I don't know what the hell's going on in the most wonderful way. <laughs> As Morgan is a drink from the well, replenish the well. Once you've healed, of course. Of course. Of course. All about the well. Well said. <laughs> Jerry. Jesus Christ. Ah, where are my manners? No one told me I'd be meeting royalty. Anyway, uh, your majesty. Carol would actually mine, be... Carol really good on be well the game of thrones she knows how to play the game for sure <laughs> and drop the fish kidding me, right? <laughs> it's, it's a lot it, it does look very weird like uh, like i don't know like a high school oh well it is a high school duck but yeah very interesting Wow, really? Well done, Rachel. It's just what we needed. What the hell is uh, Russell Crowe doing in The Walking Dead? <laughs> Fine shooting, mate. May we one day cease you all from this curse. Till then, know that we live on in your place. Full, festive, faithful, and free. Only halfway free. The realist looks forward and adjusts his path accordingly. Alright, so Walking Dead, I got my eye on you. We got three <laughs> important black guys. The kingdom is favored by your presence once more. Two and a half important black guys on the show right now. Don't be killing them off right now. And don't kill them off in February. That's Black History Month. Well, it ain't no use to sit in <laughs> this is so weird. This is a nice feel good episode. Now, a lot of you would say that's racist that they just put the black eye on the side. But my call on this is that he's probably a very low base. Thus, you put the bass in the back. <laughs> and chocolate. I knew she was going to take the chocolate. <laughs> Morgan kind of reminds me of my grandfather. He rhymes everybody. I just can't. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Do you have any tissues? Yeah. I'm saying Thank you treated me unkind. I'm I'm semi a little done with Carol's bullshit. I don't know. We'll see we'll see how it plays out. Cause I feel like the kingdom doesn't deserve that. Uh, slaughtered far from the kingdom. Lest their screams carry in the wind and invite questions. You need me? Holler. I keep in hollering range. Deuces. 
<laughs> what? I wonder if... Uh, if is I he... hadn't happened upon you, never bullshit a bullshit. The sweet and innocent act you've been doing. Right. It's quite clever. I'm glad he can see through that bullshit. It worked on me. I faked it till I made it. Like, maybe you could go and not go. <laughs> yeah, I sound like a crazy person. I get it. You know, maybe I am. But I think I can help. Is Carol going to be a housemaker or something? Going to be that crazy single lady? The old single lady living in a house with cats and shit? You really got to try one of these. All right, and there you have it folks. That's the end of the episode a day later time to do commentary Sorry guys. I told you I've been busy So I particularly did like this episode even though some people are generally gonna call this one of like filler or You know like just something uh, kind of like kind of kill time or whatever, but I don't think that's the case. If you really think about it, like the way The Walking Dead generally is, it does. It, it is a kind of, essentially sometimes a slow grind or it's building. It's something called character development, essentially. I think that's what we're seeing here and essentially that's what we're seeing with between Carol and Morgan, like, because that story never really had much of an ending, this situation of like, I want to die, or let me go, I can't let you go, I'm going to save you every time. And I saw, I think the nice thing about this episode, especially in review after uh, editing it, I was, I realized that you really saw this resolve now with Morgan as well, in the fact that he needs to just let Carol just figure out what she wants to figure out for herself like it's not all really right in her head I kind of I particularly like badass Carol and I like the way that she oh had been portrayed so I didn't really like all that regret coming to her in terms of the fact of like being a badass has uh, sort of gotten uh, kind of done her in so to speak so I'm fine with where they're going though, uh, and I'm kind of interested in what the sort of relationship she's having now with the king. I thought that was done really well. If uh, if you want to kind of compare notes with the comic, it was essentially I think Michonne that had a relationship with the king, and that's when we basically got the secret revealed. If I remember correctly, that's how it was kind of given in the comic. That, but I kind of like the way they're working with Carol. I mean, comic-wise, Carol, Carol, she's been dead. <laughs> she, she never made it out of that prison uh, way back when. So uh, I, I like where things are going in this particular direction, uh, and I guess that's obvious because especially Michonne has a uh, sort of like is a mother to Carl and is having a, a relationship with Rick so we weren't gonna get to see that and I never I really actually never really liked uh, or let's just say it was kind of weird comic wise with Michelle and how she was just uh, uh, getting she would only essentially she seemed like she was only hooking up with all the brothers like it, it was fine but it was also a little strange because it almost seemed like she had like she exclusively only preferred black men no matter what kind of uh black man they were she was like hungry for them basically it was it was an interesting thing but uh that's a whole nother story a whole nother day and um there was something else i was going to say but uh it, it, it's fine i like what's going on here with the story let's go ahead and get to the question of the video God. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, we were introduced to the kingdom tonight, and uh, we saw w what the kingdom is all about, and something that Carol sort of said that w is true, is like it's all a lie, it's all make-believe, and I, I also thought that was a little contradicting, though, considering uh, some of the stuff that Carol had been going through with Alexandria, in Alexandria, she was couldn't like she felt 
frustrated with the way Alexandria was like it was all make-believe there as well so I thought that was kind of weird like I just think she's having troubles getting back to normal to to some some sort of stability in her life and I'm wondering how far that's gonna go and how that's gonna play out it's very unique to see this uh, sort of internal warfare Carol is having but uh, there's something that the King Ezekiel was mentioning in the fact that you know sometimes they do need to live some sort of fairy tale sometimes they do need to live some sort of lie essentially like they need to you know he faked it till he made it and people need something to believe and I'm wondering how many people actually really do know that particular secret or see through it especially in the kingdom it's very interesting to me I'm very curious how far how deep it goes in terms of people that like they really want to like believe it they want to believe it they know it's not the deal but they just want to believe it just to have some sense of security right so I guess my question to you this time around is given you are in the same situation if you are in the same particular situation where you are looking for some sort of savior or a poor choice of words huh? uh, if you were looking for some sort of uh, kingdom right if you were in some sort of kingdom ish ish community right would you continue to believe this facade would you play the part in this grand stage of post-apocalyptic war right would you live in the kind of kingdom ish type of world where there is the king you know there is the like would you be fine would you be down with the kingdom or would you try to look for some sort of other sensibility the kingdom is a very interesting piece of the walking dead because it's the only place where well i mean if you do think about the what was that one group with the governor uh it's not alexandria it was the um mess westminster i want to say westminster but you guys know what i'm talking about they too had this kind of weird community going on it's interesting how alexandria also had uh, this kind of weird community going on where and then the kingdom as well where it's sort of interesting we haven't been really um introduced to it within the tv show but i am very curious to see how they're going to present the saviors in the new world order essentially like where where they're kicking it at it'll be very i'm very curious to see how they're going to go about introducing where they live because in the comic it is uh quite different i'm just gonna say that i'm doing a better job i'm gonna do my best not to reveal as much as where the comic is uh, and how that goes but i will just say that it's very in comic wise it is very it's a big contrast and i feel that the saviors in some sense are the realists out there but that is a question for another day i'm very interested it's good to see how all the communities are going and you know the other question i was kind of wondering is the thing with the pigs i like i didn't understand like what's the thing yeah that's definitely another question of the video what is the deal with the pigs like he, he the guy was fattening up the pigs by having them eat the dead and as far as I know, like I actually looked this up earlier uh, for something else, for some other reason. It's the bite, the bite, like w Walker mentality here is it's not even the bite that kills you. It's the fever that kills you and just dying makes you dead. I mean, I mean death equals the reanimation, right? So I, I guess you can't really get sick from eating a walker so I don't know like I, I was still trying to he said he wanted them to eat he wanted them to eat like rot like he wanted them the pigs to get fat enough by eating the rot so I'm just really wondering about that like it, it was he trying to poison the saviors I don't know uh, there's a lot 
more, I mean, there were lots of hints of what's to come, especially with that conflict between the pig farmer, the Russell Crowe guy, and that other dude. I, I like how they were kind of hinting about um, <clears throat> where the forces are. I, I'm assuming at this moment in time, uh, and this is actually a little interesting to me, is I'm assuming at this point in time that the saviors actually don't necessarily know where Alexandria is and if as far as I remember they don't know and I'm also assuming that they don't know where the kingdom fully is so uh, like I that's the other point I was kind of thinking about earlier today is the fact that if they don't know exactly where they are why is Negan, how is Negan able to get so much control uh, over everybody? And the, the saviors are able to get so much control over everybody. The Or maybe they, maybe they do know exactly where the locations are. I know with the, the hilltop, we haven't seen them in a long time actually. Uh, we haven't seen the hilltop in quite some time. I wonder if that's going to play into floration later. It's... Yeah, I'm very curious about that. Lots, three questions there, okay? So, would you be down with the kingdom? What's the deal with the pigs? Eating the rot. It's not going to make the savior sick. And then second, the third is, um, do, do you think the saviors and Negan know where all three locations are? Alexandria, the hilltop, and the kingdom. Ooh, sorry about that. All right, guys, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next week. Keep it, keep yourself fed, and I'll see you next week for The Walking Dead. <laughs> I'm out. Peace. All my friends are heathens, take it slow. Wait for them to ask you who